Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. The Breakfast Club. Y'all to change that show to the woke niggas. <laughs> what? Did I stutter? No, I call it Dumb and Dumber. That's what you should call it. Like Dumb, dumber, dumbest. <laughs> the chick, that one chick to come on Yeah, in? she dumbest. <laughs> Charlamagne is dumb. Envy is dumber. And then dumbest is black chick. Because y'all so biased, y'all let it. Oh, it's because they so woke. Yeah, that's they only They only see things from one perspective. It's funny, black people vote on a 90%, 90% clip to uh, Democrats. They've did it for decades and nothing's changed. Look like y'all would eventually wake up and say, hey, let me try something different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Larry Elder, he's a damn, that's a damn good black man. That's a damn picture right that's there. That's a damn good black damn man. Damn common sense. Yeah. If every black father in America was Larry Elder, oh, man. Oh, the black community would, not it'd be paradise. It'd be heaven. It'd be heaven. Be a yeah. lot of white a lot of people be getting snitched on, but it'd be heaven. Yeah. White people be actually moving in the black neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah. Because if Larry Elder in your neighborhood, if you black, he calling the cops on you. <laughs> you messing with my property value. <laughs> you got to go to jail. Because <laughs> you ain't trying to do right. Yeah. So Larry Elder went on the Breakfast Club. And, and they uh, starting to have more Republicans on there. But Vic Robin Schwann, well, that's good. That's good, man. Yeah. At least they're making an effort, man. They ain't making no effort. The only point they bring uh, the right on is try to make them look stupid. But yeah. what y'all don't realize, y'all look even dumber than you really are. Yeah, just read your comments. Y'all taking these interviews, y'all being disingenuous. Yeah. Y'all think y'all going to... Y'all not trying to actually listen and learn yeah. get things from a different perspective. Yeah. No, y'all having these people on your show because you want to... You want to make an attempt to make them look bad. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's the whole point. But here we go. Let's go check out the video, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it up. Have you ever heard <clears> of <throat> the term a nigga wake up call? No. It is an incident where a person of color forgets that they are of color and are reminded rather He's brutally by an unexpected act of racism. Oh, Have you brother. ever had any of those? Oh, brother. You said I'm just asking. I'm just asking. You think you've ever well, had I, I'm acutely aware, Charlemagne, that I'm a black person, just as you are a black person. And when uh, Joe Biden insulted you by saying mm -hmm. you ain't really black, we don't know whether or not you want to vote for me or vote for Donald Trump. Uh, it seems to me that should have been a wake up call on your part. How dare this guy come in here and insult you, a black man, and tell you you got to think a certain kind of way. I'm amazed that you weren't mad about that. Um, I didn't, I'm not gonna say I, it upset me. Just like I'm not letting you upset me. You know what I mean? What? I don't tend to get upset. Why would you be upset? Well, well, what I did say. Well, well you just not talk about a nigger wake up call, and it seemed to me that that should have been a wake up call on your part to have a white guy come in here who also said, by the way, uh, uh, about Mitt Romney, um, uh, uh, because he didn't want to put more regulations on Wall Street, going to put y'all back in chains. And Joe Biden has lied for decades about his civil rights record, claiming that he desegregated movie theaters and restaurants in, in Wilmington, Delaware, when he didn't any, didn't do any of that. He lied and said that he tried to visit Nelson Mandela during apartheid South Africa. He did not. And he came in here and told you you aren't even black and let you think a certain kind of way. It seemed to me that should have been a nigga wake-up call for you, but it wasn't, apparently. <laughs> I mean, no, for the record, I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I, I, I didn't think, say you I were. Think I think I don't know what you are. I, I never yeah. even asked you about your party affiliation. Yeah, I'm just you're saying, you, but you are black. And, and to have a white guy come in here and tell you you have to Think, uh, think a certain kind of way, otherwise you quote ain't black. Wow! How should I have replied to him? You think what I just now said? How dare you insult me and tell me I, I think as, as a human being, let alone as a black person? I don't tell you how to think, Joe Biden. How dare you come in here and tell me how to? How I, I, I should think. I'm going to vote for Donald Trump if I want to vote for Donald Trump, and, and if I want to vote for Donald Trump, it does not make me not black. Twenty percent of black people, black men, as I said, uh, voted for Donald Trump in 2020. Are they not black now? So only 80% of black people, black men walking around are really black, 20% are not, because mm. they voted for Donald Trump. How insulting is that? How condescending is that? Mm. I, I mean, you're probably right, but I didn't take it in that way. As well, I, I said, did. As I said to him in that moment, you know, it's just about me <laughs> wanting something for my people. And I want to know what is he going to do for my people. And not only for my people now, how are you going to atone for the things you've done to my people? Right. That's it. Right. And this is a guy, uh, Joe Biden, who, when he first got into the Senate, hung out with segregationists, talked about how well, he, how well he got along with them. I uh, talked about how he didn't want integration because of a jungle. 
Uh, this guy has made all sorts of insulting things to black people, and his policies right now are hurting black people. Inflation hurts the people at the bottom more than anything else. Letting a bunch of illegal aliens under, into the border are hurting black people more than anybody else, as I said earlier. He supports, uh, opposes school choice when he has his own kids in private school. And we lost a year, almost two years of in-school education in California because of COVID that he supported. I mean, this guy has done monstrous things to black people, and then for him to come in here and tell you how you ought to think of the black person, it blew my mind. As a person, objectively, who doesn't care about either party. When He's objective. You're objective. You know you Democrat. You ain't never voted for Republican. And if you have voted for Republican, you haven't told about it, that makes you a coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's, I, I want to add some context to this. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, he had Hillary uh, Clinton on that show. She pulled out a bottle of hot sauce in front of y'all. Yeah. You forgot about that one. Yeah. Hot sauce. Like black people walk around with hot sauce. Yeah. I'm going to add some context. Um, when Joe Biden was on there and he was talking about if, if you don't vote for me, you, you ain't black or whatever. Yeah. This, the Democrats, who, who, was, uh, who was the political party in this country that started the Klan? Democrats. Who was the political party who started Jim Crow? Whites only. Black here only. Who was that? Democrats. And like Larry Elder said, he was close friends with the, insect, the, uh, the uh, segregationists in the Democratic Party. Yeah. And then this same white man comes on your show and implies if you don't vote for him, you're not black. And you didn't take it that way. And you didn't take it that way. Yeah. No, you gave him a pass because he's a Democrat, because yeah. you're a Democrat. Yeah. That's why. If Trump would have came on and said that, you would have had something to say. Yeah. If anybody else would have been on that and had Republican by the name, you would have had something to say. But you let that slide because he's liberal. He's a Democrat. Y'all let things slide. Y like y'all let slide Hillary Clinton pulling out a, bo a damn bottle of Texas Pete hot sauce. <laughs> y'all let it slide. Why? Because you're idiots. Yeah. Like, you're, okay, you're not Democrat. Why you only have Democrat candidates? Like when Trump was running, I'd never seen Republicans on your show. Yeah. You had Kamala Harris on there. You had Hillary Clinton. Kamala Harris is on your show lying to you about smoking weed. And she locked up more black people. And she locked up so many black people in that very same crime that she said she allegedly committed. That woman ain't done, didn't smoke no weed. She ain't even black. Democrats can come on your show and say anything. They can masquerade as anything. Yeah. And there's no pushback. But you're not Democrat. Yeah, you definitely... Democrat. You're definitely liberal. You're definitely a moron, too. He's not a moron. He's biased. Which makes him a moron. Moron. Then you can't even spit the question out verbatim. Somebody's feeding you these questions. Yeah. No feeding them? Massa. <laughs> <laughs> Probably if, a white man feeding you those if questions. If you were a Republican, you would lose your job. Yeah, you Charlemagne? You ain't no libertarian. You a woke fool. That's your nigga wake up call. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going. We giving away a Ram 2500 diesel. $10,000 in cold hard cash. Yeah. Don't forget, we throwing the Cummins transmission in now. It comes with it. The hit of the weird. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site get you all automatically what? in the wind. You thick tongue nigga. <laughs> yeah.